They love me. What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. In today's episode, we're going to go over an episode, or an episode, a topic that seemingly has a lot of Falcons fans' attention these days, and I guess seemingly every year. Falcons fans are always interested in talking about Matt Ryan. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today is Matt Ryan. But in this particular episode of Matt Ryan, we're going to talk about why I think he is going to absolutely take off in 2021. And I can, you know, I, I feel pretty confident that will happen because it's a little bit of a different story this year. Yeah, sure, he's still got Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley, but he's got some new guys on offense and he's got a brand new head coach and offensive coordinator. So things are going to get a little interesting here, and if all of these new players and coaches are just as good as advertised, then this could be a pretty special year for Matt Ryan, who usually always does have a good season regardless of who the coaches or players are, but you get what I'm trying to say. I feel he could have a very similar season to his 2016 and 2018 campaign, maybe even better. We'll see. But... Obviously, the first thing you have to note here on why Matt Ryan will take off in 2021 is because we have a brand new head coach, and he's also going to play offensive coordinator. And if Arthur Smith is just as good as advertised, he is an offensive genius. And two great things to note here, well actually I guess three, one, Arthur Smith actually knows how to be creative with his offensive playbook, and that's something the Falcons have been needing for a long time, as I feel like the last four years, we haven't really had a creative offense. I feel it was somewhat predictable, it's just our offense actually kind of executed it pretty well. But this time, Arthur Smith should bring in a creative playbook, and things might look a little more, not only entertaining, but also a little more uh, tricky for the defense, let's just say that. Um, but another thing to note here is Arthur Smith, he actually thinks alike with Matt Ryan. He also, like Matt Ryan, loves to utilize play action and the tight ends. He loves to utilize all of that, and so does Matt Ryan. So great minds think alike here. Arthur Smith and Matt Ryan are going to work together to utilize what they love to use the most, play action and tight ends. So that's great to see that Ryan's going to do what he does best out on the field, especially with a coach that wants to do the exact same thing with him. And then the last great thing to note here is uh, the last great thing to note here um, is Ryan seems to do really, really well with great coaches. Now he does good, really, regardless of who he's with. But I'm talking like when he's with Kyle Shanahan, he just suddenly wins MVP. And then say what you want about Steve Sarkeesian, but I guess he's a good coach now because he's not only he he not only had a good career in Alabama last year, but he also is officially a head coach now at the University of Texas. So I guess you could say Steve Sarkeesian was a really good coach, but Ryan did really well with him in 2018. You get what I'm trying to say. When he's with really good coaches, he just takes off out of nowhere. Like, it's it's kind of weird. Um, but if Arthur Smith is as good as advertised, this could be pretty interesting. The second thing I need to note here is we have some pretty good playmakers. Obviously, there's some familiar names like Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley who should still do what they usually do out on the field. And we also still have Hayden Hurst. But... We have a new name, Kyle Pitts, the highest drafted tight end in NFL history. And if he is as good as advertised, which I think he is, um, yeah, you got yourself a freak of nature. Kyle Pitts is absolutely phenomenal. So you got Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, and Kyle Pitts, all a wide receiver number one, if you want to say that Kyle Pitts is a wide receiver. People say Kyle Pitts is someone that can play wide receiver if he wants to because he's just that freaking good. So I guess you could say we have <laughs> three wide receiver number ones on our team. And we also got some other good playmakers on the team as well. We got Russell Gage. We got a new receiver in Frank Darby who should do some good things for us. 
We got a really good receiving set here for Matt Ryan, and the O-line in front of him is actually pretty decent. So with Matt Ryan's protection and playmakers that are going to be out there and a good head coach, yeah, Ryan's, it seems like he's going to have himself a pretty good year. And maybe the last great thing to note here is maybe he might catch a break from time to time. And what do I mean by that? Well, obviously everyone knows that our run game and our defense has not really been anything good in a long time, really. Ever since uh, 2016, our run game hasn't really been, well, I, I take that back, ever since 2018, I want to say, our run game hasn't really been all that solid. And our defense, really, frankly, was just never good to begin with. So, now, with a new defensive coordinator in Dean Pease, you might know that name from the New England Patriots and the Tennessee Titans a little bit, I'm pretty sure. Um, Dean Pease is, uh, if you look at his history, he's a proven defensive coordinator. He is coming out of retirement, so I hope he still kind of is done shaking off the rust there and he just kind of knows what he's doing but I, I have trust that he does and he should make this defense really good because there's actually some names on that defense that you can work with like Grady Jarrett and Deion Jones and AJ Terrell and some new names like Richie Grant and and I don't know if I said that right but you get the idea Richie Grant and um I don't know why I forgot his name but the guy from Darren Hall I think that's his name from San Diego State he's got a lot of defensive players to work with so Ryan doesn't have to be forced to just throw himself on the line and try to win for that team when the defense can't help him. Maybe Ryan will catch a break from time to time and get a break because the defense is actually doing their job and maybe with Arthur Smith who knows how to use running backs here like he did in Tennessee maybe the run game could give Ryan a break as well. He doesn't have to worry about throwing all the freaking time to save his team Maybe he could just hand it off and take a little bit of a break. We maybe need some better running backs with us, but if Arthur Smith knows what he's doing with the running backs, then I guess I will trust it. But those are my thoughts on that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys with a video this Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Love and appreciate you all for the support. And as always, rise up.